Governor Edwards did issue one veto today, hoping to maintain part of his statewide prison reform. Fox 44's Jacqueline Kissick joining us now in the studio. She's been following this today and tells us why the governor did veto that House bill and what this bill could have done. Jacqueline? Well, Kellyanne Tavares, this bill would have required people convicted of four or more nonviolent crimes to serve more time before they could get out of jail. Governor Edwards says releasing nonviolent offenders early has allowed the state to pay for programs that reduce recidivism. House Bill 544, sponsored by State Representative Debbie Bovito, would have required nonviolent and non sex offenders to serve 65% of their sentence before qualifying for parole. In his veto message today, the governor says the bill would have taken the state the wrong direction by undoing the bipartisan work passed in 2017 that has already saved the state nearly $15 million. And it's not clear yet if the state lawmakers will attempt to override his veto. Jacqueline Kissick, Fox 44 News. All right, thank you, Jacqueline.